Hi guys and welcome by the Mad Vet. And today we're looking at the sad horse who had a big giant abscess. And you've probably all seen the video of the other abscess. It is actually the same horse. And after one month of medical help, the horse actually doesn't have any sign of the abscess anymore. And you will see in this video everything from ultrasound, x-ray, oroscopy, and just everything. He was in a hospital with lots of ver veterinarians and a dentist for horses. Now, after two months, he's completely fine. And on the end of the video, you'll be able to see how much fun he has right now. He rolls and scratches and enjoys the sand bath we gave him. And next week, I'm going to surprise you with a rescued farm where they have swans, ducks, chickens, pigeons, dogs, goats, cats, horses, peacocks, and obviously I'm going to be there. So, yeah, go on to that video and uh, see you there. A horse with a very big abscess. General anemnesis. The horse is referred by his veterinarian for anorexia associated with inflammation. Severe in the area of the left cheek for 15 days. At home, he had previously been treated by another vet attributing himself to a possible snake bite. X-rays suggested possible infection of the molar, mandibular, tooth root and palagmon secondary. He is referred for anorexia and to complete the diagnosis and possible treatment upon arrival at the hospital, survey swelling of the left cheek was confirmed. The horse presence marked pain to the touch and it is not possible to open the mouth normally. Despite the severity of the problem, the horse is metabolically stable, hydrated, 36 ppm, HTO, 32%, and PT, 6.2. The hematology is normal, slight neutrophilia without clinical significance. Skull x-rays rule out a bone fracture and it is not possible to visualize any strange body you will see in the video. Ultrasound confirms cellulitis of the entire masseter area. Subcontinuous infection. Survey with a multi-chambered trabsulated abscess and generalized inflammation you will see in the video the mass of which gas and very foul smelling smelling prulent material is obtained a sample is taken for a possible cultivation it is substantially surgically drained, after which it is possible to empty several cavities of the same mass. The delicate location, anatomy and depth of the abscess, dorsal and ventral branches of the left facial nerve, make the treatment of the abscess has to be more conservative than in order circumstances. Due to the risk to cause permanent facial paralysis in the horse, a picture is shown in this video. Odontologist, this is a dentist for horses, said the oroscopy does not show any dental 
alteration except for various dental tips and a mouth osler in the area on the left side you will find in this video the diagnosis of a severe infection cellulitis and abscess of the cheek and left mesosa the cause is unknown various causes are considered including that of a virgin body that has could pre penetrate from the mouth or from the outside secondary to a dental infection or a trauma serma hematoma abscess or a primary bacterial infection a medical treatment with oral antibiotica therapy is established elsa on the left side could be direct or indirectly related to said infection the evolution is slow but favorable x-rays and ultrasound are performed the day before collection control in addition to endoscopically exploring the wound cannot detect the focus f infection it is suspected that it could be located between the caudal malleus on the left side currently the horse has a single highly localized point of infection possibly between the second and third molars mri or ct of the skull is recommended if the infection parasites for the next mouth for the next month persists for the next month diagnose infection and cellulitis on the left cheek and masseter of origin presumptive and the treatment you will find in the description and that was it from today oh, have a good day guys bye